Hi, welcome to the Sew Along 2020 with Gourmet Quilter. We're doing an Australian themed quilt and we're up to part three this time. So we made in, in week one, we made these birds. Then week two, we made an emu. And then week three, we're making a similar block to the block one, but we've got some different fabrics in here. We've got some wonderful Australian kangaroos in here, in, in here this time. So if you're already receiving the pattern through gourmetquilter.com, you'll receive a pattern that looks something like this. It tells you what sizes to cut and, and how to put the block together and things. So because we did a very similar block in part one, I have already gone ahead. So this is my the same block as this one here. So this is my block for this time with the kangaroo fabric. And I've, I've made this one up to almost finished, but I'm just going to pop the corners on this time. So those corners also go on to block one, but we didn't put the information in there for that time. So we're making the blocks the same, but adding corners. So I'll just go through how we do those corners. So with your instructions will tell you to cut out how many squares and what size they are. So we're just going to sew them onto the corner. I'm sure most of you know how to do this. I'm going to draw a diagonal line because I like drawing lines on the back of squares. And I've already done my other three. We need four of them per block. And we're just going to sew them on. Really there's um, not anything too technical about this particular process, but they need to be on because they help form the chain in the whole quilt. So it's an important part of the block to have them there. And you can get them all ready and just you could if you're making several at a time you can chain piece them through. I've actually already done my others for this block. But I just thought we'd go through this little process. Just to make sure you know what I'm up to. So you can see it doesn't actually take very long to do these sorts of things. But it makes all the difference to how things look in the end. So I've sewn all four corners on already. And so if you had that rotary mat that I showed you last time, this would be a good chance to use it. I haven't got mine here today. So I'm just going to trim the corners. So we've done a, a seam through the diagonal and I'm just going to trim a quarter of an inch away so that that's not too much bulk left in the corner. So you need to make, I think, four of these we're making. Everything like that is in the instructions in the pattern. So. So then I'm just going to press them and I'm just pressing them out in the seams in towards the triangles. These little kangaroos on this fabric are just delicious. So there we have our corners on our triangles for part three. So I think that's looking pretty good and you can start to see here uh, the blocks are going to be different, there'll be something else coming in here so it won't be this, but you can see how it's going to start forming a chain through the quilt as I'm sure you know how it's going to go, I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, that chain goes through. So we do need those triangles and we need the little squares in the corners if we're going to do things like that. So we've done so much already. You can be, you're probably working away on your backgrounds for your applique. We've got block one, block two, and block three. And that's it for this time. And I will see you again next time. Thank you.